my mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, the only YouTube channel that's not quite finished with those errands. All done with those errands? And in today's video we are doing a partial mask unboxing and a partial mask conversion. More or less just a paint job, but uh, my buddy VJ Burris over at Doom Room Studios hit me up and said that he had a mask up V1 mask, and for you old school House of Mask fans you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But for anybody that is unfamiliar, a few years ago I started a line of masks called the Mask Up Masks, and they were basically just a plastic mask that was based off of my logo and we had two different versions. We had a clean one and we had a cracked one. I offered these as blanks mostly but every once in a while I would paint one and do a completely one-of-a-kind paint job on it and sell it as was or as is. As was I think would be the correct way to say that. I don't know. But anyways, uh, VJ said that he got a hold of one of the unpainted versions, so this one's completely blank, and he wanted to know if I would paint it for him. And typically I would say no, but it's been a while, and this is going to be a trip down memory lane for me, so I told him to go ahead and send it in, and I would see what I could do. I asked him if he had any sort of paint job picked out, and he told me to do whatever I wanted, and uh, I kind of came up with an idea this morning, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. But first, we will open the box, and I will show you guys what we have. Alright, there's a letter in here first, we'll read that. Inside the box, other than the mask, we have a pooter, the little black thing. Thank fucking god, because I actually had one of these and we used it so much that it ripped. We literally blew the side out of that thing. Put the hole towards the bottom of your pot. I know how this fucking thing works, I've had one. I'm really, really good at these. Uh, and then he says, we've also got a bunch of infectious waste stickers, I thought they'd be pretty cool to put on random stuff. And two Team Weird stickers from VJ. So, let's go ahead and uh, grab this stuff out of here. Here are the biohazard stickers, definitely look cool on some stuff. Here are the Team Weird stickers. Here is the pooter, which I'll use here in just a second. And then in the black bag here, we've got one of the V1 Mask Up masks. And uh, that's a nice copy, this one has the nice black elastic strings on the back there, so. Hell yeah, man. When I came up with the idea for these, I knew that I just wanted something that represented the channel, the House of Masks in general, so we took my logo and turned it into a mask, and I knew that a lot of the people that were buying them were going to be younger kids, so I wanted something that was affordable. And I also wanted something that was durable so that you guys could uh, tear it up without actually tearing it up. And these things did just the job. And just because I trust them so much, you couldn't hurt them. And it was exactly what I wanted. This stuff is super, super strong. It's almost like hard hat material. So yeah, I miss the uh, I miss the V1s. The V2s were okay. They were a little disappointing, just not quite what I wanted. And I was also getting out of the mask stuff as soon as those came around. So just a weird time. But uh, I guess this is as good a time as ever to announce that we will be doing V3s in the future and they should be the coolest yet. So can't say when, but it'll happen, I promise. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show this thing off pre-paint and uh, then I will let you guys know what we're gonna do do, and then I'll run you through all that with some nice time lapses and stuff and uh, then we'll have a finished product to show off. But first, let me show you how the pooter works. <laughs> God, I'm so glad to have one again. I'm sure that if you're on YouTube you've seen Jack Vale's videos. He's the one that sells these and does all those fart pranks. So the concept behind this paint job is pretty simple. I've definitely been feeling Harold lately. This is one of the funnest projects I've ever done. And uh, I just want to make him look like Harold looks today. We probably won't put the Magnemite on there, and clearly he's not going to have a clown nose, but he is going to be black from the top down. Or should I say African American? And uh, then he'll be tan right here. We'll give him some red lips, then go over it with the skull makeup and some nice bright white eyes. And uh, I think it'll look pretty cool. It's a simple, tribal, very like, I don't know, messy kind of paint job, but but I think it'll look nice. Very like Marilyn Manson-esque and witchy and creepy. I don't know. I think it'll turn out cool. So without further ado, let's hop into this time lapse.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the completed product, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw together something very heraldish, something crude and tribally, and something that didn't quite make sense but still looks cool. And I actually used all of the same techniques and the same paints that I used on Harold. So the black that's on here is the same black as Harold, and the white that's on here is the same white as Harold, and I even used the same paint brushes. So I tried to do something similar to how he looks now, and I think that it worked out cool on this uh, model, if you will. And uh, yeah, I hope VJ likes it. I will uh, actually link you guys to his reaction video because I won't be posting this video until he posts his video receiving it. He wanted me to keep this a secret, so he's not going to know what this looks like. So make sure to go check out VJ's channel down below. He is an up and coming mask guy, and uh, he's always been super supportive of the house of masks. He is a patron. He's sent in stuff before every mask fest. He's all about it. So make sure to go check him out and uh, that will do it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time we will see you later.